so welcome to another Green Dragons game. Without us, they wouldn't couldn't feel like winners. Without them, we couldn't look so good. So again, we're based out of Westchester, Pennsylvania, and we're actually playing up in Phoenixville. We have a tournament going on uh, the weekend of March 13th up at the gaming store up in Phoenixville, and there'll be more on that to come as we get a little bit closer considering it's only November. Um, but I've already booked it, talked to the owner. He's actually a guy I used to game with way back in the day. So I went up to Hogs Fest, and I still have about four more um, uh, videos uh, to turn around and make for that. But meanwhile, I'm also doing online uh, an invitational for like YouTubers, bloggers, and things like that. So this is the Smith F Invitational. Uh, Pascal, thank you so much for putting this together. This is going to be Game Three: The Trail. So he made his own. Um, uh, since this is supposed to be a friendly type of tournament, um, complete, uh, completely just like trying to have fun, gain interest in people and everything else. So we actually do an army switch with this. So I get to play Axel Vicious, um, and he plays Beast Herds, but now he's going to be, be playing Ogre Cons, and where I'm playing my Ogres, I'm playing his Beast Herds. I only had a couple games with beast herds i actually do have a beast herd army that i was going to create i have all the models and everything else and just never got to it so this is going to be a total army swap and here's what i'm running gortex gortex are very good but are they a little too pricey at 500 points i don't know i gotta see them in more action against other things i know that when they hit my knights i want to sit down and go ouch but um, I don't know. I mean, I just don't know. Uh, the soothsayer, he chose shamanism rather than druidism. I always feel like if you're going to run a single caster, especially in a beast turn army, you need druidism. Um, but part of this is to make fun lists. Uh, his chieftain, all right, his beast lord, yeah, nothing, nothing special there. Uh, basically, they're going to go into the longhorns, uh, to turn around and make them stubborn. And that's basically it. So here's his list that he's using, using all my great weapons, all my fear causers, and terror causers. I'm like, yeah, that's basically what I would, would have ran to. So we had Dawn Assault, and literally it's for every 225 points, you gain a point. Uh, so you can actually have the 20 points, and your opponent can actually have points too. Here's how, um, this is after uh, Vanguard's at this point in time, and he has trapped the water, and he has trapped the hill. So he goes ahead, he chaffs me, the Gortak fails a frenzy test, and if you notice, I only have one Gortak on the board at this point, because he, um, I stopped the Totemic Summons, and he got an offscore of Insects, I'm like, alright, and I figured, like, two, three, maybe four, at most five wounds. Nope, six wounds. Removed a gore attack right off the bat. I'm like, well, not a great start. Um, so I go ahead, I charge in. I did declare a charge with the unit that's in the forest. I declared a charge with them into the, um, uh, what are they? The uh, Tuskers needing a 10 on dice. I'd rolled a nine, so unfortunately I failed. Uh, but if I had made that, that would have been boss right there um he said crap didn't even think about that and that was it um i just moved my stuff around did some throwing weapons and made sure i stay out of the water so i didn't uh trigger the traps uh chariots are zoning that's it um so and um because he killed the one gortak um and the other Gortak failed his frenzy, I now have to turn around and use my centaurs not the way I had wanted to use them. I now have to use them as chaff in front of a rock a rock It's looking a little bleak, but it's not horrible. Um, so during his turn, he charges into my gargoyles that I put up on the hill. He charges, and I pass my, um, my fear test um, with the... Um, whatever that uh, was. And I declare my charges. At this point in time, I'm looking at his... 
at that rock rock. I'm also looking at those tuskers. Those tuskers are an interesting position. He chassed me up using his, his cat. Um, and he decides to bring the yetis from the left all the way to the right um, to try to get them into the fight. During my turn, uh, so bomb turn two, he actually got first turn. Um, I, I only got one of my two ambushers on, and I think I did maybe one wound, and he made his armor save with uh, my um, wild herd. So if you look where my longhorns are and the tuskers are missing, this is what happened. Let me go back a turn. Actually, you can see all my charges. So again, my whatever the hell that is, the Gortak fail, failed his frenzy test, therefore I charged that in. And if you look in the woods, there's something different in there. There's a briar beast. Um, so the Gortak goes charging in uh, to the cat. The wild herd goes charging into the cat. Uh, my goal is to overrun again to that Gortak. And as you see, this was one of my mistakes here is I should have, should have moved my centaurs as far over to the left as humanly possible compared to where they are now. They didn't have to be quite that far over, I don't think. I maybe could have shaved a little bit um, one of the models off um, because I end up killing that unit to a man and therefore I don't get the overrun. I just, I just wanted to turn around and get the Longhorns into the side of the rock rock. He's like, you complete at the end of the game, he's like, you completely outplayed me on that flank. Because if that folds, then I go in the rock rock. Because the Briar Beast went into the rear of the rock rock, uh, this is all happening on the same turn. So here, at this point in, com in combat, the wild, because uh, I killed the kitty cat, the wild herd overran into the rock rock. Um, the Rock Rock ran, got away from the Briar Beast. He rolled an 11, I rolled a 10 uh, on some of my three dice. And that was that. Um, he ends up coming in charge in the Briar Beast with Yetis. He fails that. He rolls a 1, 2, 3. I'm like, the one spot I didn't want to was literally right in front of my Wild Herd. I wanted that unit free because if that unit gets free, I can then charge in to the... Um, to the bruisers, yes, they're bruisers with a character, but then I can start throwing um, magic on them and curb that combat, get rid of his magic, and let my longhorns kind of do their thing. Um, so here's where we are at this point in time. He charged my um, my Gortak. My Gortak the kills. I want to say one or two of the. Um, one or two of the, 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 the whatever the hell they are, the uh, bruisers. And what I should have done is I just should have thrown everything at the Great Con. I don't know what I was thinking. I just threw it at the bruisers. I just should have picked on the Great Con. Again, another mistake on my part. Not my normal army. Um, I go ahead. I declare charges. This was another mistake. I should have used the um, whatever the hell they are. Uh, the centaurs as chaff versus the rock rock. Uh, as it is, I declared the charge into the yetis, I declared the chariots into the flank, and I threw the briar beast uh, during his random movement into the flank. Um, so this is actually how it looks at this point in time. I really didn't care if the rock rock charged longhorns because I figure it's got one wound on it, it, it goes in, does its uh, impact hit, and then um, it's attacks, so I'm probably going to lose probably about 10 of my Longhorns, but, and here's the but, I am going to uh, still have 12, 10 to 12 Longhorns left, and then just uh, kill, um, and the Rock Rock will be gone, and then if the Wild uh, Herd is gone, which I, which I expected um, to break on his turn, then I'll be able to go ahead and get what's left of my long of uh, my longhorns in, and mop up the characters and things like that. So that was my game plan. So um, here's this. I do quite a bit of wounds to the bruisers. I only got two bruisers left. 
Um, I charge the Yetis. I end up breaking the Yetis here. Uh, he does only a couple wounds to the Wild Herd unit, nothing to the Centaurs. And I overrun into the uh, Bruiser Brick, which is what I intended. This is what I didn't intend. As you can tell, my group of Longhorns is no longer there. He charged. I failed a rerollable nine. It happens, you know, and I can't curse UB. I've done it in real life. So I failed a rerollable nine, and he I only ran uh, four inches. He caught me, and because uh, he rolled boxcars, hey, that's game. Um, so I'm like, all right, well, the way this is, I need to turn around. I need to go for points. I need points. So I've got that combat going on. I charge the Yetis, trying to break the Yetis. I do one wound, he does two wounds. So um, needs to say, um, my what's left of my Centaurs is gonna be gone. My Longhorns come on the board. If this was a normal game, that unit would be hiding up in in one of the corners saying, come, come find me. Um, you won't get me by the time the game ends. Um, probably in the back left. Um, but, that was not the case, because again, I won points. So I go ahead and I come on, I move like that. He blows up my centaurs, he blows up my wild herd, um, catches me and then turn, turns around during his turn. I charge the uh, tuskers. I think I did one wound, yeah, I did one wound to his tuskers and he broke me, fear, Fear was my bane this game, which was, again, is the point of my army is fear and terror and great weapons and crap. So, ends up being a OgreCon loss, uh, or OgreCon 1, I lost, uh, 20, 20 to 4. Again, we're going by 225 points. For me, that Briar Beast, if you play Beast Hurts, oh my god, I love that Briar Beast. Um, comes on when you want, uh, random movement. Uh, my LVPs, um, Longhorns, I mean, the failing, the rerollable nine cost me everything. And then even at strength five, charging into a brick of Tuskers, only doing one wound. No, no. And the fact that <laughs> the Briar Beast is MVP and the Tusk and the, the uh, Longhorns are LVPs, that's brutal. Absolutely brutal. Well... Uh, that's it. Thank you so much. I know this was only a quick battle report. I don't know why I'm doing it so quick lately. Um, I know Masters is going on, U.S. Masters is going on um, in January, I believe. I don't think I'll be able to attend. Um, I don't even have an invite anyway. Um, but, uh, and that's it. Until next time, happy gaming.